Now another group of people are here also. They have been also been given white robes. And it, they were told that they should rest yet for a little season. Why? Until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Hey, those who are listening to me and those watching by television on different social networks those who are in Facebook, Facebook on WhatsApp, WhatsApp on YouTube, YouTube Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter those who are on radio Radio, on television TV. salvation during the great tribulation will be paying by your own blood exactly as it is happening in Afghanistan today you are given two options you either deny Jesus and you are saved from the bullets of the gun or you deny Jesus. Or you accept Jesus. And you are killed. Two options. Deny Jesus. And you are forgiven. To live. Or continue to persist on Jesus. And you are murdered. So people in the great tribulation will be saved in numbers in great numbers but through the paying their own dear lives now before I get out of here you need to understand this Jesus told them they should rest yet for a little season why why until their fellow servants also their brethren. So there are many people on the earth who will have to die. Their brethren should be killed as they were. There is a number the Lord was will be looking for because he said until that should be fulfilled. So salvation in the great tribulation will be about being killed. And so that is the second group that got born again through the two witnesses. But because for them they are not sealed with the seal of God, the Antichrist was able to kill them. Now the second group are the Jews. 144,000 people. For them they will not be killed because God put a seal upon their forehead. So after sealing 144,000 a mean rapture will take place. Revelation chapter 7 to verse 12. There will be a mean rapture of two people and they will be taken away. When they are taken away these 144,000 who are sealed by the seal of God will be released place the two as the, as the gospel messengers across the nations of the world. And they will begin to preach the gospel in Israel and other parts of the world. I don't know how many preachers are there in the world today but at this particular time there will be 144,000 Thousand. talking nothing like politics but talking about the salvation of God talking about Jesus Christ of course the Antichrist and his armies will gnash their teeth they will be so angry they will be furious they will be filled with bitterness they will bite 
buy more guns and more bullets because God had sealed these people with his own seal they will not be able to kill them. So they will continue to preach the gospel. But remember, though they are not killed, but whomsoever believes their gospel and gets saved for that one is killed. Did you get that? Did you get that? For them, they will not be killed. But whomsoever will listen to their gospel and choose to give his life to Jesus, he or she will be killed. So that will be a representation of what God said in the other verse. He told them they should wait until their brethren are killed like they were killed. So salvation will be about killing. Now the 144,000 ministry will be in the second and last part of the three and a half years of the great tribulation. Oh, God is a good God. I've said God is a good God. Okay. Now, this preaching of these two ministers will result in the salvation of many, many people. Very many, more than, more than even the, the ministry of... Uh, of, 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 of the two disciples of the two apostles the ok let's go to Revelation chapter 7 I think verse number 9 and we see the results that will come out of the preaching of the 144,000 the result of the two prophets will be 144,000 Jews and martyred Christians who are Gentiles. Now the result of the 144,000 as they preach this is what will happen. After this I beheld and law a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindred and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb crossed with white robes and palms in their hands. Verse number 10. Verse number 10. And they cry with a loud voice saying salvation to our God which is upon the throne and to the Lamb. Verse number 11 and all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders of the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God. Verse number 12 saying Amen blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever Amen I like the end times I like the end times all this information is given to us. And very few people know this. Because people are not interested in the end times. People are interested in coronavirus. When schools are going to be opened. When churches are opening. When shall we go back to, to football in, 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 in stadiums. 
But people don't mind about end times. God has a better prepared plan for the end time. So let's go back to the core of the message. The 2 prophets were told to go back to the core of the message. The two prophets, their preaching, will bring salvation to 144,000 Jews. It also brings many people from the Gentiles to be born again. We have seen that. Now 144,000 when they get saved they will be sealed by the seal of God and they will become the replacement of the two prophets as preachers. So in verse number 9 I want you to see how many people will give their life to Jesus. In verse number 9, they will get saved through pain. They will get saved through adversity. They will get saved through severe unbearable conditions of torture. torture. In murder. In killing. They will get born again. Again. Many people will be determined to give their life to Jesus. Even if it means death. So the ministry of the 144,000 will bring this result. Hey, John said. After this I beheld and law a great multitude which no man could number. Praise God. Even in the most adverse situations faced on the earth a great multitude which no man could number will still give their lives to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Some people are ready to pay it by their own blood. They cannot dare to go to hell because of the Antichrist. They cannot dare to go to hell because of the Talibans. Uh, uh, they are ready to stand for torture. They are ready to stand to be fired at. They are ready to stand to be martyred. The Antichrist thinks that he can frighten everybody. But some people are not frightenable. They are not frightenable. They are not frightenable. Stand for the truth of the gospel. They will stand as witnesses of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what you do to them. Like the matters of Namugongo. Some of them were given opportunities to deny the new religion. And they refused. There was that young boy, Chisito Muto. I think it was merely nine years of age. He was given an opportunity to deny Jesus to be saved from being burnt at Namugongo by fire. And the younger boy refused. He said, I'd rather die for the sake of my master. I'd rather die for the sake of Jesus Christ. Why should I fear those who can kill the body? But don't have the power of my spirit. Jesus said, you rather fear those, that one who can kill both the spirit and the soul in eternal hell. Not this one who can kill on the body. Not this one Sono. who can kill only the body. Because the body is raisable. 
Number one. You want to stop from there. Number one. From all nations. There are different things we are going to talk about next time. Salvation through these 144,000 will bring in a great harvest which no man could number. One from all nations. Two from all kindreds. Three from all people. Four from all tongues. That means everybody on the planet will hear hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. The Bible says from all nations every nation will get a preacher we give online we give online 0708 0708 money MTN please let us give to God as we wait for government to open up churches. And I know one day churches will be there. Please give in these times of adversity. Let's pay our tithes. Let's give our offerings. Let's so see it. Father bless every giver. Prosper them. Increase them. Empower them. Keep them safe. Keep them healthy. Keep them sound. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you all. Let's meet tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen.